Today we're going to learn how to create a class schedule plan for the fall semester. You must complete these steps before you are allowed to register for the first phase of registration on July 23rd and the second phase of registration on July 25th. Hopefully you are already familiar with the my.wafford.edu webpage. You've probably spent most of your time in the FYI section. Before you enter your class schedule plan into the Wofford system, you should click Read More under the class schedule plan of the FYI page. Those instructions will familiarize you with required and recommended courses, liberal arts 101 section offerings, your modern language placement, course recommendations by major, and information about AP, IB, dual enrollment, and Cambridge courses, as well as CLEP exams. After reviewing all of the information carefully and looking at the interactive course schedule plan and the PDF version of the schedule, I have created a plan that includes sections of the required Liberal Arts 101 seminar and FYI 101. Based on Wofford's strong recommendation to take a language course in my first semester, I've included a section of the course from my modern language placement. And finally, I've included two elective courses that I thought would work well with either my general education requirements and or my planned major. The sections in my plan put me in the recommended range of 13 to 16 credit hours. Let's go ahead and click on the word student in the left menu bar. We'll scroll down to the registration area and then choose the registration link. Today, we're only going to work in plan ahead. If fall 2024 isn't already selected, make that choice before pressing continue. Select create a new plan so that you can start selecting the courses you'll take this fall. Every new student is going to take LIBA 101, the liberal arts seminar. So let's start typing LIB into the subject field. I can click the choice of liberal arts seminar when it appears. Then I can enter a course number of 101. This is incredibly important. Do not select Add Course. I repeat, do not select Add Course. If you choose Add Course, you are looking at all courses in the catalog. You will see many courses that do not have sections offered this fall. Instead, you want to choose the View Sections button. This will only show you sections that are actually being offered. I've already decided that I want to place Section Q into my plan, so I'll advance two pages until I see the entry for Section Q. You can see that this layout shows me the section letter, the credit hours, the instructor, and the meeting days and times. I can also see that there are 16 of 16 seats remaining and that this course is listed as first year friendly. So it is an appropriate course for me to take. If I click on the course name, I can see many more details about the course, including any restrictions, prerequisites, or co-requisites. But for now, I'm ready to add this course to my class schedule plan. So I'll hit the add button, press save, and then name my plan Fall 2024. Now that we have saved the first course to our plan, it is a good time to remember that I have started a plan, but I have not registered for a class. This is simply a plan that the summer advisors must approve before I can register on July 23rd and July 25th. So I'm ready to add another course, Biology 150B and the 150B Lab. I'll get back to the search screen by clicking the Catalog Search Results button, and then the search again button. Then I'll search for biology 150. Remember that I never, ever, ever want to hit the add course button. I always want to choose view sections. I'll scroll down to bio 150B, but I see first that section A looks like it has no seats available. I also notice that section B shows the word linked. If I choose section B, I must also choose lab section BL. The registration system will not let me mix and match lectures and labs. So let's add both B and BL to my schedule plan and then hit save. To save time, I'll go ahead and repeat these steps for the remainder of the courses that I plan to take this fall. I'll increase the size of the bottom panel so that you can see that none of my class times overlap. This is also a good time to check that I have a total of between 13 and 16 hours planned. My plan looks great, but I need to make sure I have backup courses ready for phase one and phase two of registration since it is not typical for a student to find a seat in all of their planned courses. But, at this point, I'm ready to let the summer advising team know that my plan is ready for review. I'll return to the FYI section of my.wafford.edu, and then I can click on the button underneath the student checklist box that says my plan is ready for review. I can scroll to the bottom of the page to see if there are any errors that I need to fix. If there aren't any, I can press the button at the bottom to submit my plan for review. This alerts the advising team that they should look at my plan to see if my advising hold can be released. We are almost done but there are just a few things you need to remember when you reach this stage. Your advising plan has been submitted, but it has not been approved. You must check your Wofford email daily to see if the advising team has asked you to make any adjustments to your plan 
before they can release your advising hold. You cannot register in either phase of registration unless your advising hold has been released. Remember that you are not alone in this process. Please write the Summer Advising Team at advising at wofford.edu if you have any questions. Any of the Summer Advisors will be happy to help. We do ask that you write us from your wofford.edu email address so that we can verify your identity. Good luck.